Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the Vintage by Jessica Live Skin Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. As you can see, it is covered in like other makeup, like I, so I use it quite a bit. I'm just really sorry about that. I tried to use like a makeup wipe to get some of that off and clean it up a little bit and it just wasn't working. So it is what it is. So the description on this on of this on Amazon is that this is the best selling product just got extra gorgeous with new two new shades. Add a beautiful wash of color and subtle sexy shimmer with this illuminating face highlighter set. Wear alone or as a beautiful highlighter over pretty blush or bronzer. The reflective pearls add radiance on contact, adding a delicate glow and diamond-like finish. So this is a highlighter set, if you can't tell. The, back, the product itself doesn't have too much information. It comes with two different colors, rose quartz and chocolate diamond, and it is just the prettiest highlighter set I have ever seen. As you can see, like I said, I use it. I forgot there was a mirror in there. I love that there's a mirror in there, and I use it like every single day too. I kind of accidentally ran my finger across that, my nail across that, so that's why that was like that. The rose is my absolute favorite one. I do use the chocolate diamond one sometimes, but I use this one more and it lasts, like I know this is going to last a really, really long time because you don't use a lot, of, very much of the product at once. But yeah, I'm going to close that up. So as far as using it, you use a powder blush brush, a sweet but illuminating face highlighter on the apples of your cheeks and cheekbones after blush has been applied. I also add it to the bridge of my nose and like the tip of my nose as well because I think that's like a look that's kind of trending and it's really, really, really cute. For an added glow, oh, it says it here. For an added glow, dust lightly over freshly hydrated skin on forehead, nose, and chin. And I always do that. I also sometimes put it a little bit on like the arrows bow, Cupid's bow on my lip, the top of my lip too. Just like anywhere that like the sun, the light from the sun would like hit your face and like make you glowy, that's where you would really put this. It illuminates your skin for a diamond like glow. It layers beautifully over powders and creams, complements all blush and bronzer shades, and it works well on all skin types. So usually I will contour with the bronzer and then I put a little bit of blush on the apples of my cheeks and then I go in with this um, on my cheekbones, on my forehead, my nose, Cupid's bow, and on my chin. And like I said, I usually go for the warts, the rose quartz because it's, 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 it's just a softer, sheer kind of mocha rose, whereas the chocolate diamond is more of a cocoa, like a gold. So I personally just like the mocha rose on my skin. I think once I run out of that blend though, like I probably will just use the chocolate diamond because it still is absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. So yeah, this is just really great it is highly highly pigmented so a little bit of the product goes a super long way it's also really blendable so if you happen to get too much you can blend it out and it's just it gives you that your face like a really flawless dewy look and it's not super glittery glittery either which is also nice i think a lot of highlighters these days are super glittery but this is more like a sheer shimmer and it just makes your face look dewy rather than glittery and shiny, if that makes a lot of sense. I think that these are just a perfect match for like any skin tone. The rose quartz is going to be better for like lighter skin tones, and the chocolate diamond is going to be better for your darker skin tones, and it's just really good. I don't know exactly how the packaging comes, if it comes just like this. I got this in a subscription box, I believe it was BoxyCharm, like oh my gosh my hand, oh you can't see it in the video, but it's really shimmery. and. It took me a while to even use it, and I don't know why, because once I used it, I was like, where has this been my whole life? So this is just one of my favorite highlighting palettes. It is so, it makes your face so luminous. It is just so, so nice. I cannot say enough good things about this. It's pretty small, so it fits easily in a makeup bag if you're traveling or 
and it's nice and small so like if in your makeup storage bin like on your vanity or in a drawer fits really nicely and doesn't take up much room but yeah this is just like the mother of all highlighters to me I can show you the kind of brush that I usually use to apply it just in case we I usually will use like a small brush like this and I like this one because it's easy to apply it wherever I'm applying it on my face so like for my cheekbones I'll use like the flatter the sides here for as well as my forehead for my cupid's bow I like to use the tip very very point there for my nose, I'll usually like say this is the bridge of my nose and my nose is here. I will usually put some of the product here on the edge and kind of just sweep it off that way. And then for my chin, again, I will go in with the tip here. And it's really, really nice. This is, I think, one of the perfect brushes for highlighter. And it's small enough that you can put it only where you want it and not get it like all over your face. So yeah, I absolutely adore this highlighter, highly recommend it, and thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video.